Hello viewers, I welcome you all to today's talk on eigenfunctions and eigenvalues. The objective of today's talk is to facilitate you to learn about eigenfunctions and eigenvalues in quantum mechanics. Learning outcomes will be that after learning, you will be able to define what is eigenfunction and eigenvalue. You will be able to explain operator and operand. And after the mathematical operation, you will be able to identify eigenfunction and eigenvalue. Let me explain what are called eigenfunctions and eigenvalues. Every observable quantity in classical mechanics can be expressed by an operator in quantum mechanics. One of the postulates of quantum mechanics stated this condition. Every observable quantity in classical mechanics should be accompanied by an operator. Now, you may wonder what is an operator? An operator is merely the mathematical rule used to describe a certain mathematical operation. Examples are multiplication, differentiation, and integration. All these mathematical operations can be expressed by certain symbols known as operator. So operators are some symbols representing some mathematical operation. Now let us say operator O. Operator O means alphabet O should be written and at the top of the letter you should write the cap up arrow. So any letter with up arrow represents an operator. This operator duty is to act on the wave function and produce a result. Now let us take the operator O. It is going to operate on the wave function psi and the result can be written like this. Operator O acts on psi, produces a result A psi. Operator O psi is equal to A psi. Observe this result. Operator acts on psi and produces the result. In the result, you get back the same wave function modified by a scalar constant a. So in the above equation, the wave function psi is said to be operator's operand. Operand means this operator is going to act upon the observable quantity a is known as eigenvalue of the operator and the operand psi is known as eigenfunction of the operator. You see the operand psi. So after the operator act on the operand, the result you must get the same operand. Then only operand can be taken as eigenfunction. And the scalar quantity is taken as eigenvalue. Thus, the effect of an operator Acting on a wave function is such that the operand is only modified by a scalar constant. Operand does not change. The same operand appears, but it is only modified by a scalar constant. In that case, the operand is said to be an eigenfunction of the operator. And the scalar constant is said to be an eigenvalue. So the expressions have defined what are eigenfunctions and eigenvalue. You have chosen an operator. The operator has acted on the wave function. The wave function is known as operand of the operator. Operator operates on the operand, produces the result. The result has the operand, same operand but modified by a scalar constant. In general, we can write like this. Operator O acts on the wave function. 
So if it is alone, you call it as wave function. When it is acted upon by this operator, then the wave function is called operand. So this operator acted on this operand and produced a result lambda is psi of xt. The same operand has appeared in the result but modified by a scalar constant lambda s. Yes. So now you can identify the operator is O, the eigenfunction of the operator is psi of xt. Why you say eigenfunction? Because after the act of the operator on the wave function, you are getting the result. The result is also having the same function. So operand becomes an eigenfunction. And the scalar constant is eigenvalue. Eigenfunction and eigenvalues are very important concepts in quantum mechanics and will be used very extensively. So you need to understand what is eigenvalue, what is eigenfunction. Let us take an example. Here the operator is d by dx. And the operand is sine for x. Let the operator act on the operand. So d by dx of sine for x is equal to 4 cos 4x. So operator role is to act on the operand and produce a result. Now from the result you should be able to find out what is eigenfunction and what is eigenvalue. Now you carefully study this. Operator has acted on this function and produced the result. In the result, the function is not same as the function which was acted upon by the operator. So you cannot find eigenfunction here. To find eigenfunction, the result should have the same operand as before. Okay, now let us compare the general format operator acts on the wave function is equal to A into psi. Same psi has appeared. There is here in our problem, the function sine 4x is changed to cos 4x. So, you cannot find the eigenfunction as the operand has changed after the operation to cos 4x. But you can find out the eigenvalue. Eigenvalue is 4 here. The same problem let us now discuss in another way. Let the operator is d squared by dx squared. Here we took first order differentiation. Here we are taking the second order. Let the operand, the same function you have taken, sine for x and sine for x. Now you allow the operator to act on this operand. So d by, yes, operator d squared by dx squared of sine for x. Now d squared by dx squared can be written as d by dx of d by dx of sine 4x. Already in this problem we have found out d by dx of sine 4x is 4 cos 4x. So you substitute here. Now you carry out this differentiation. So d by dx of 4 cos 4x is equal to minus 16 sine 4x. You look at the operator is d squared by dx squared. The operand is sine 4x. In the result, we get back the operand. But the presence of minus is a problem here. We are not able to decide. So what we do? We just rearrange the same expression. Take this, take this minus sign to the left hand side. So minus d squared by dx squared of sine 4x becomes 16 sine 4x. Now you compare the left hand side with the right hand side. Sine 4x, sine 4x. So happily now you can note down the eigenfunction to be sine 4x. Because 
in the result the operand is just changed by a scalar quantity only same function has come back so eigen function is sine for x and eigen value is 16 and the operator is minus d squared by dx squared i hope let us take one more example and so that your learning becomes very strong once again the operator we have taken d by dx and the operand we have now changed it to be e power lambda s x now allow the operator to act on this operand so it is d by dx of e power lambda is x is equal to lambda is e power lambda is x now when you do the differentiation the constant scalar constant lambda is appears the same operand appears here so after the operator acting on the operand the result is giving back the same operand modified by a scalar constant so happily you can note down the eigen function now the eigen function is e power lambda s x and the eigen value is lambda s i hope these three examples will help you to understand the concept of eigen function and eigen value with this i conclude this talk thank you all